we greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. We want to welcome you to our service of taking the word to the world. I am Pastor Gerald J. Thomas, along with First Lady Luella H. Thomas of Delam Grove Baptist Church in Meridian, Georgia. We want to welcome our church family and also take this opportunity to thank you for such great support during our 132nd church anniversary. You all were fabulous. We want to thank you for your finances and for your prayers. We also want to welcome our Facebook family and all of our first-time viewers. We ask that you would like and share this service. For in liking and sharing, you help us to proclaim the Word of God. We also want to thank our YouTube viewers. We ask that you continue to subscribe and encourage others to subscribe to this worship experience. Now, if you would, let us go before God's rich throne of grace. Abba, Father, it is in the matchless name of Jesus that your humble servant now comes before thy rich throne of grace. Master, we want to say thank you. We say thank you for this opportunity to take your word to the world. Anoint us afresh now. Give your people ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to understand. Premiate the realm, O oh Father, that we are in and bless and cover and keep. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Come on, let's put our hands together and let's amen. give God some amen. praise amen. in this house. My brothers and sisters, as we come to you on this august occasion, we come excited. We come looking forward to just teach the word of God. We pray that can be a lamp unto your feet and be a light to your pathway. In our time of prayer and supplication, we petition the Lord, what should we talk about? What should we address? And God spoke to me plainly, and he said, Son, many of my people are doubting their salvation. Many of them uh, don't know whether or not they are saved or born again. So the Lord told me to, just for a little while tonight, to teach on how to be saved. How to be saved from a burning hell. Oh, I know you've been in church a long time. But a lot of us got chair and bench salvation. Amen. We gave the preacher our hand, but we never gave God our hearts. We never took the time to involve ourselves in the word of God and grow in the word of God. And it has left us depleted. But tonight. We're going to take a spiritual journey, Amen. and we're going to travel in and through the Word of God, and we pray that this Word will uplift your very hearts and let you know that even in this trying time, even during this pandemic, even during this time of political division, even through all the violence and the evil and the loss of life, God is still on the throne. Amen. How many of you know that God is yet on the throne? God is yet sitting Amen. and looking Amen. low, sitting high, and has all power yet in his hand. If you would, I want you, if you would, to turn with me to the gospel according to St. John, the third chapter, and verse number 17. We know that God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. And we know that his son, Jesus, gave his life. No one took his life. He laid down his life sacrificially. 
No man took his life. He said, no man take my life. I lay it down and I'll take it back up again. And as we travel through the word this evening, you will know, amen, that this word is going to give you some strength. It's going to give you the enduring power to go on on this Christian journey. Amen. The gospel according to St. John, the third chapter, and the 17th verse reads, For Amen. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus didn't come here to find fault in you. A lot of us are under the misunderstanding that, amen, uh, the Lord is here judging us. No, he's not. One thing that deter a lot of people in the world from becoming saved is most of us, pastors and teachers and Christians, will always tell people what they cannot do. We, we always harping on what you can't do, what you can't wear, where you can't go, what you can't say. But one thing that I found out, that when you become saved and Jesus comes into your life, amen, amen. he will lead and guide you through the power of the Holy Spirit. And people don't have to tell you what not to do. Amen. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide you to the point to where, amen, because it is a process, amen. amen. He will lead you and guide you to the point where you will figure out amen. what you are not supposed to do, where you are not supposed to go, amen. how you're supposed to try to live. And through the study of the word, amen, God will grant you the peace that you are seeking. Amen. The word of God says he didn't come to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He was and is yet the sacrificial amen. offering, the only amen. one that could, amen, give his life to save us from a burning hell. Amen. 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 Some of you might ask the question, why I need to be saved? Well, uh, you like many of us, we don't realize when we're doing wrong. Amen. If you haven't come in contact with the Lord and, and got to know him as your personal Savior, a lot of times you don't know when you're doing wrong. Amen. 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 But I, I come to tell you tonight because Adam and Eve in the beginning where God had them created in perfection when they fell into sin, amen, by eating from the tree and being disobedient, sin came into our mortal body. Amen. 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 And David picked it up, amen, in Psalms number 51 and verse, amen, 1 through 4, David let us know what had happened. See, when sin entered in, we fell, amen, from God. Amen. God had to form a way to bring man back to him. Therefore, he sacrificed two lambs to cover them in their sin. The blood sacrifice was made. Okay. Amen. The, but the Amen. blood sacrifice Amen. in this situation only covered their sin. Mm -hmm. But God was going to send the Redeemer. Amen. Is anybody traveling with me? Amen. Amen. In Psalms number 51, Amen, and verse number 1, David realized that he had fallen in sin. Uh -huh. He had committed adultery. He had committed murder. Amen. And he cried unto the Lord, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Amen. How many of you know that you have to acknowledge sometime when you're wrong? Amen. But if you don't know you're wrong, God will show you. Amen. Let's look at Psalm number 51. Amen. And verse number 1, I'm reading from the Jewish translation where David has fallen in sin, and he had the wherewithal to cry out unto the Father. David said, Have mercy on me, O God. God, have mercy on me. How many of you have asked God for mercy lately? Amen. 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 Because mercy will suit our case. Amen. Look what he says here. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, 
according to your abundance of compassion. God is merciful. How many of you know that God is a merciful God? Amen. 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 But like I uh, said in the earlier statement, God didn't come here to condemn you, to browbeat you. Amen. Jesus didn't come to do that. He came here to save you out of your sins, and he has compassion. Amen. Look what he says here in verse number two. Amen. Verse number one, continuing. Blot out my transgressions. In other words, David knew that God had the power to cover his sin. Anybody traveling with Amen. me? Amen. Amen. It goes on to say in verse number two, now he said, when you blot out my sin, how many of you have sinned and asked God for forgiveness? Don't answer out there in the cyber nation. Just know that God is a forgiving God. Amen. 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 God looks beyond our faults so many times uh -huh. and meet us at our points of need. Yes. Now he says here, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Yes. Cleanse me. Get me out of my sin. If your Bible is reading a little different from mine, realize that I'm reading from the New Jewish translation. Amen. He says, wash me thoroughly from my iniquities mm -hmm. and cleanse me from my sin. Yes. Just hunt your neighbor and tell him, God is the only one. God is the only you don't one. have the power to do it. Amen. Amen. You cannot cleanse yourself. There, there's a process that we have to go through Amen. in order to be saved. That's why we teach repent. Amen. Amen. Go to God with godly sorrow. Yes. And when you go to God with godly sorrow and you repent of your sin, uh -huh. you come back to him and God yes. will begin the work on Amen. you. Look what it says here now. He said, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Amen. Whether it was a whoremongerer, whether it was a liar, whether it was a murderer, Murderer, yes. whether you were a thief, yes. whatever you were, God has the power yes. to cleanse you yes. from every unrighteousness yes. and from every yes. sin. Come on and give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I, I need to be saved tonight. Tell your neighbor, Lord, I wonder sometime, am I really saved? Yes. Look at here now. Verse number three say, for I acknowledge my transgression. Mm -hmm. You got to recognize. When you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. No, in your heart. And be man or woman enough. You, you, you can't work under God's anointing and in God's anointing full of sin. Mm. You got to let God know, God, I've sinned. I, I'm talking to you now, servants of God, not, not only to just the Christian body, but I'm talking to the ecclesia. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to preachers. Yes. I'm talking to teachers yes. and deacons and missionaries. You cannot operate under God's anointing mm -hmm. and have a life full of sin. Right. Come on and give God some praise. Amen. You know, a lot of times in our ministry, we will not preach on sin mm -hmm. because we don't want to run people away from the church. All but right. since we're in this cyber setting, mm -hmm. help me, Holy Amen. Ghost, you can be get on down with it now uh -huh. and let's, let's touch on some sin. Amen. But because it's time to break up that beehive Amen. of sin. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you're not getting away with anything. God, I run Amen. to and fro. Mm -hmm. God sees you. God knows what you are doing. Amen. God hear what you are doing. Amen. Come on and help me in here. Amen. How can I be saved? Amen. You cannot be saved and live all kinds of way. Hmm. That's an old folk saying. My Look God. what it says here. For I acknowledge, I acknowledge. David said, Lord, I acknowledge I was wrong. Yeah. I know I was wrong. Can you imagine being king of Israel and being humble enough to admit I've sinned mm. and I've come short and I've messed up God? Yes. Let me tell you, God can work with you then. Amen. Look, look what it says here now. Uh, I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Tell your neighbor, you can't run away from it. You can't run away from it. 
It's Amen. always there, but I tell you what God will do. When you ask God for forgiveness, God places it in the sea of forgetfulness, never to rise up against you anymore. Amen. When you confess your sin Amen. and you tell God, God, I'm sorry, Amen. I don't care what you have been, Amen. God is able Amen. 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 to remember you out of it all. Amen. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, he will. So it says here, my sins have ever been for me, verse 4, against you. Acknowledge God. I, I, I sinned against you. Amen. You only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. Well, some of us might say, well, he didn't see me. But when God is omnipresent, that means God is everywhere. Amen. He's omniscient. Yes. That means God is all-knowing. Mm -hmm. God knows all about you. Yes. You can fool man. Mm -hmm. You can deceive man. Amen. But you cannot Amen. deceive Amen. God. Amen. Oh, help me, son. Help me now. Look, look what he says here. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, so that you are justified when you speak, and you are blameless when you judge. Mm. God, I know you know all about yes. me. So my first step is, amen, tell your neighbor, Pastor, get ready to teach it now. My first you. step is to realize that I am a sinner. And that's one thing that a lot of us, I, I, I'm glad that David in this high power lesson in this familiar lesson it, it doesn't matter how high you are or what 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 kind of position you are in it is incumbent upon you as a believer to acknowledge i've sinned amen. help me now amen. amen he realized that he's a sinner and that he need to be saved look at here what romans 3 and 23 say for we all have sinned and we all fall short. Amen. How many of you without sin tonight? Anybody in here without sin? Well, the preacher raised up his hand. He ain't without sin. We all have sin. But one thing I, I admonish you to do, before you fall asleep at night, mm -hmm. before you clothe the baby brown blues of black, <laughs> you need to tell God, God, forgive me of all of my sins that I have committed knowing and unknowing uh, because there's some things I've done I don't even realize I've done. But tonight, amen. starting tonight, God, forgive me for my sin. Uh, so I got to realize that I am a sinner. We all have sinned. Amen. Romans 3 and 23, okay. we all have sinned. Yes. Am I right? Amen. Let, let, let's, amen. Look at, let's look at the next step. You got to acknowledge the fact now, amen, that you cannot save yourself. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. A lot of us think, oh, oh, I got it all together. I, I know this and I know that. But I'm trying to tell you how to be saved now. You got to recognize, I can't, I need some help. How many in here tonight need some help? Amen. How many out there in Cyber Nation need some help tonight? Amen. You know things are running rampant. One thing that I found out about, when I cleaned my slate before God, yes. amen, it put the onus on God, amen, amen, amen. to help me yes. out of my situation. Amen. Amen. And God amen. said, I'll never leave you. Yes. I'll never forsake you. Amen. I'll be with you when you give me your heart, yes. when you confess me with your mouth, amen. and you believe in your heart yes. that I am the Christ. Yes. I'll be with you. Hallelujah. I'll stay with you. Yes. I'll hold your hand. Yes. I'll walk you through the valley Amen. of the shadow Amen. of death when the times are hard, Amen. when the hours are black. Yes. Come on, help me help. I'll be with Amen. you. Acknowledge you will say, oh no, you ain't all of that now. Mm. Amen. But what it says in Proverbs 14 and 12, don't, don't try to find all these because we're moving fast, cyber nation. In Proverbs 14 and 12, it says, there is a way Right. That seems right to a man. Uh -huh. You know, 
Uh, what I found out, a lot of us, you know, we just don't know no better. Some of us be doing things and we actually think we're doing right and God don't know any better. My God. Y'all traveling yes, with me? Yes. Talk, to, talk to me out there, Simon. Give me my hands yes. back. Give me that glory. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 it's a lot of people. We be doing wrong, I, but we think it's right. But the answer comes from Solomon. He says, amen, there is a way that seems right to a man, but his end is the way of oh, death. Yeah, know this, the wages of sin is still death. Amen. Never let anyone fool you. Amen. Why are you preaching like this, Pastor? Because Jesus is soon to come. Amen. The amen. Lord said, get my house in order. Mm -hmm. Let my people know, amen, that I'm soon coming amen. and that we are living in the end time. Amen. No man know the day nor the hour that the Son of Man is coming, but as a watchman on the hill, yes. a watchman that is standing in the mm -hmm. tower, he said, let my people yes. know amen. it's time to get your amen. houses in order. Yes. I have allowed you to go through all the festivals mm -hmm. behind the closed door. Right. You, you went through Passover. Mm -hmm. You went through Pentecost. Uh -huh. You went through atonement mm -hmm. and tabernacles. Mm -hmm. All behind the door. Yeah. It was time for you to get your act uh, together. Yeah. It was time for you yeah. to realize that if I want to live with Christ yeah. and I want to live for Christ oh, and I want to go back home with yeah. Christ, there's some things yeah. that I must get in order Amen. because when that trumpet sounds on, and the dead in Christ rise and we who are yeah. alive are left behind yeah. and get caught up in the air, oh, yeah. I want to be Amen. in the number. Oh, yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Help me, Lord. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't get deceived by your ignorance. It's time to get in the Word. It's time to realize, amen, that the things that I'm doing, I need to check myself before I wreck myself. Because some of us are on a pathway to destruction because we are thinking selflessly and self-centeredly and not surrendering totally to the Lord. God said, I need you right now. I need you to surrender. Help me, Holy Ghost. I, I, I feel a, I feel a praise coming on. To your neighbor. Uh, you know, some of us thought, amen, that we could work our way through it. We could serve our way through it. We could pay our way through it. Help me, Holy Ghost. But you can't pay your way through it. You can't work your way through it. And you can't beg your way through it. You got to surrender and give your life to God. Help me, Holy Ghost. God is worried about all that you think you're doing. God is concerned about whether you want him as Lord and Savior of your life. Come on and give God a hand of praise in here. The key thing is, and one of the keys is, is having a personal relationship with the Lord. Ah, not the relationship the pastor got at the church. Not the relationship mama and daddy and grandmama got. But your relationship is predicated on you and God and you and God alone. What you say, Pastor? You got to spend time with God. Amen. In order to get to know God, you got to learn to spend some time with Him. Come on now. Amen. Develop a study life in the Word of God because you cannot draw nigh to God until you know who God is. Anybody with me? Amen. Amen. Now, you got to develop a prayer life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Yes. When you develop that prayer life, that's communion between you and God. God created you to commune with him. Then you got to, as you study the word, you got to learn how to put the word into action. Many of us who say and proclaim to be saved don't truly believe the word, nor put the word in the action. God said, I trust you, amen, with a dollar. Will you give me a dime out of it? 
Help me, Holy Amen. Ghost. If, if, if you believe I am who you say I am, mm -hmm. help me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You you will learn how to trust me with what I have blessed you with. I, I gave you a gift. Help me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't use it for your personal need. Amen. Use it for the upbuilding Amen. of my kingdom. Amen. Is there anybody here know what I'm talking about? Amen. 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 So I, I want to be saved. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. I need the Lord. So the first thing, going back, I'm going to bring you up to date now. The first thing is realize that you're a sinner. Mm -hmm. After realizing you're a sinner, acknowledge and recognize the fact that you can't save yourself. Amen. Number three, believe that Jesus Christ can and will save you. Amen. Amen. How can he do that, Pastor? Number one, well, he said in John 14 and 6, this is what Jesus said. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because Thomas wanted to know, mm -hmm. amen, just like you and I. Jesus said to him, I am mm -hmm. the way. The I'm the only way mm -hmm. to get to the kingdom. Amen. Through me and through me only. Mm -hmm. You cannot even talk to the Father. Amen. Except you come in my name. Mm -hmm. So every prayer that you pray must be mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeshua, the son of the living God. Uh -huh. don't, don't get caught up on the name, but the name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, yeah. every knee yeah. shall bow. Amen. And every tongue must confess. Mm -hmm. Confess what? That Jesus yeah. Christ is. Is Lord, that's Amen. a part of your salvation Amen. there. He said, I'm the truth. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is Amen. Savior Amen. and Redeemer. Amen. It was Jesus Christ who was hung high, yeah. stretched wide, yeah. who died, yeah. y'all ain't talking to me, yeah. who went in the grave on the third day. Yeah. It was Jesus Amen. who got Hallelujah. up with all power yeah. in his hand. Yeah. It was Jesus yeah. the Christ. Yeah. Help me, yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, and he said, I am the life. You live the life yes. in Jesus Christ. You live his lifestyle. Amen. 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 Not perfect. No man is perfect. That's Just high right. five your neighbor out there in Cyberland and tell him no one is perfect. No one is perfect. The pastor said earlier, we all have sinned yeah. and Amen. come short, and we all will sin Amen. and come short. Amen. But we serve a forgiving yeah. God. Yeah. We serve a loving yeah. God. We serve a merciful yes. God. Yes. We serve a compassionate God. Amen. We serve a we got a God that loves us so yes. much that he gave his yes. life for us. Oh. Help me, Holy Amen. God. And look what he said, regardless of who you are, mm -hmm. red man, black man, Amen. white man, rich man, poor man, Amen. beggar man, mm -hmm. whatever you have done, robber, thief, killer, yeah. whatever you are. Yeah. He says in John 6 and 37, uh -huh. the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast him out. out. I ain't going to turn my back on him. Amen. Amen. So when you come to me, if you come to me weary, worn, yeah. broken. Sad. Mm -hmm. Just got out the gutter. Ain't yes, got sir. nothing going for you. Uh -huh. He said, I ain't thinking about no prestige. Amen. I'm not thinking about what you had or That's what you right. used to be. Amen. Come to me yes. just as you are, uh -huh. and I'll give you life. Come on and tell somebody. Yes. Only the Lord yes. can give you life. Yes. Amen. Yes. The woman that you're looking for can't give you no life. Amen. The man that you're looking on, for, yes. that is only temporary. Yes. The cars and the money yes. and the land. It's only temporary. Mm -hmm. Why, Pastor? Uh -huh. Because like Blaise Pascal said, uh -huh. the mathematician and philosopher uh -huh. once stated, uh -huh. God created us with a vacuum in our heart. Yes. We can get all the yes. stuff and the things that we want, uh -huh. but God got a void in our heart yes. where only God can fill. Amen. Amen. Have you ever noticed Hey man, you can have all the money in the world. You can have four or five vehicles and limousines and, and everything that a person ought to have. But there's yet 
a void. My God God. created us like that. Mm. God created us to have a relationship yeah. with him. Just as he did Adam and Eve, yeah. he created us, amen, to, to have that spiritual relationship yes. with amen. him. And a lot of us, we try to replace him with drugs, mm. with alcohol, amen. with gambling, yeah. with drugs. Y'all ain't talking to me. With pornography, yeah. with all kind of things. Yeah. We try to replace him, yeah. but you can't replace yeah. God. You yeah. need him. Yeah. Old yeah. folks can say, I need thee. Yeah. Every hour, I, I'm preaching God tonight. Amen. I, I'm preaching God because he told me to tell you, you got to be saved. You must be saved. You got to do it. Because if you don't, hell is your home. My God. My God. Oh, yes. Remember, Jesus Christ died on the cross. Yes, he did. Rose from the dead. Yes. And he paid our penalty. Amen. He paid your sin debt. Mm -hmm. Whatever sin you might be in, Jesus paid it all. Amen. Tell your neighbor, he paid it all. He paid it all. He paid it all. Paid I'm getting ready to close okay. now. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Step number four is, amen. Now, if you're big and bad, why don't you confess your sin? My God. Amen. You ain't got to get up in the cyber yeah, church and tell everybody. Right. But when you go in your bathroom tonight, yeah. or you go in your secret place tonight, you talk to God and you confess your sin to God and accept Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. Yeah, no shot Amen. yeah, you've been in the church 20, 30, 40 years, 15, 16 years, but have you really had Christ in your heart? Because, see, when you have Christ in your heart, you can't treat people all Amen. kind of way. Amen. You can't say everything. Amen. Because what you sow out there on, is what God. you're going to reap Whoa. back here. Then I'm going to shout that I'm going to say. I'm going to Hallelujah. say. Hallelujah. Look, 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 look what the Word of God says Amen. in Revelation 3 and 20. Amen. And I'm going to read the New International Version. Look what it said, Jesus talking prophetically now. Amen. Jesus said, first of all, you got to confess your sin and accept Jesus Christ right where you're at. Look what he said. He said, listen, Jesus said, I came for you. Revelation 3 and 20. Listen, I stand at the door and knock. My God. Jesus said, I'm standing at the door of your heart right now. My God. No, you can't see me, but you know I'm there. Why? Because I'm omnipresent. Mm. I'm with you. Yes. I'm standing. I'm knocking on your heart. You know, some of us been running from the Lord. Some of us been denying the Lord. So I'm saying, I don't want to live that lifestyle. Well, brother and sister, the choice is yours. Yes. Amen. And where you spend heaven or where you spend hell is up to you. Mm -hmm. The Lord say, uh, whether you are lukewarm, I, I can't stand you. Hot or cold, amen. You got to be hot or cold, mm -hmm. and a lot of us are cold right now. We got to get back on fire Amen. for God. Amen. We got to put God first. Yes. Just because we haven't been able to assemble in the sanctuaries. Amen. We ought to be been assembling Amen. in the spirit realm. Amen. We ought to be charged. On, we ought to be fired up. Lord, we ought to be man. saying, for God I'm going to live. Yes. And for I'm God Lord. I'm going to die. Come hell or high water. Yes. Serving the Lord will pay yes. off. I found me an avenue to yes. minister. Right. I stand at the door and knock. Uh -huh. And if anyone hears my voice, mm. huh, do you hear his voice tonight? He's yeah. calling. Yeah. Gently. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling, Hallelujah, church. Jesus. I said, Jesus oh, is calling. Yes. How can you say that, Pastor? Yes. Look at the end times. Look at what's going on globally. Yes. The Lord has shook. The entire global world, almost 200,000 more have died from COVID-19 right here in the United States of America. God is shaking us. 
the economy, amen, it's well on Wall Street, yeah. but on Walnut Street, it ain't hitting on nothing. Y'all talking to me in amen. here? Amen. 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 I, I, our essential workers are working themselves to the bone. Help yes. me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Go. amen. Because of the COVID cases uh, yes. and the sickness uh, yes. and death is yes. running rampant. Yes. The death angel is moving yes. all through. Huh. And I pray for all the bereaved yes. families yes. That, that we're in yes. contact with because a lot of people are being lost right yes. now. Yes. Y'all ain't talking to yes. me. But yes. there are things that are going on and it ought to let you know yes. that the Lord yes. is calling Hallelujah. our name. Yes. Hallelujah. Look what he says. You open up. I will come in uh -huh. and I'll sup with you. Yes, yes. See, when you eat from the Lord's table, the Lord will feed you till you want no more. Amen. He said, I'll come in and I'll sup with him. Uh -huh. And he with me, I, 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 I'll take care of you. Yes. Why? Because I'm your way maker. Yes. I'm your hard fixer. Hallelujah. I'm your burden bearer. Oh, yes. I'm your healer. Yes. Uh, but right now, I'm praying uh, uh, your business that has been on a downturn. Yes. I'm praying that the, bin, the business shall be totally restored Amen. right now. Amen. You've been behind Amen. on your house mortgage. Yes. The money is coming in. Amen. Gonna catch you up. Y'all yes. ain't talking to me. God got you yes. in his hand. Yes. God knows yes. all about you. Amen. That job that you went for the interview, mm -hmm. God said, you got the job Amen. right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With the pay that you need yes. to make it with. Amen. Come on and talk to me here. That, that new Amen. picture that you going out on, uh -huh. God has already yes. made the way yes. for you. Come God said, when you confess me yes. as Lord and Savior uh -huh. of your life, I'll be your way maker. Yes. I'll be your burden bearer. Yes. I'll be your heart fixer. Yes. I'll be your healer. Yes. I'll be your deliverer. Come on, I'll suck, come on and suck with me. See, when you suck with the Lord, yes. the Lord will feed you. Yes, he will. The Lord will take care yes, of you. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yeah, Amen. So in my conclusion tonight, from Romans 10 and 9, the key to being saved. Help me, Jesus. Are you traveling with me? Yes. Romans 10 and 9 yes. states that if you confess Amen. with your mouth. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Uh -huh. Come on, say it out loud right now. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Come on, Lord. say it like you mean it. Jesus Come on, Simon Network. Oh, 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 don't be waiting on the next person to say it. Jesus you say it yourself. Jesus if, is Lord. if you confess with your mouth, mm -hmm. see, you got to speak this thing out. You, you can't just keep it in your, in your mouth. You got to let it out your mouth. You got to vocalize. The Lord want to hear you say it vocally. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Is Lord. Is Lord. Huh? And I believe yes. in your heart yes. that yes. God has raised him from the dead. Yes. Do you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead? Amen. In the grave, three days, God, the Holy Spirit, came in and resurrected him out of the grave with all power. You believe that? Amen. Can you really believe that? Mm -hmm. Or are you questioning? See, some people have a problem with that. Did Jesus really die on the cross? Yes, he did. But listen to this. No man took his life. The Roman soldiers didn't kill him. Herod didn't kill him. He laid down his life. He dismissed his spirit. He willingly laid it on the altar. He was done. They couldn't kill him. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Amen. they could never kill him. They could never, they could kill, never kill him. Kill him. Mm -hmm. But he laid down his life that you will be saved. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Right there, that's enough to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through him dying. Yes. Through him shedding his blood. Mm -hmm. His blood covered every sin that the, anybody in the entire world would ever commit. Through his blood being shed, you can be healed of cancer. 
today. You can be healed of arthritis, tuberculosis, sugar diabetes, HIV AIDS, COVID-19. Whatever you're going through right now, God can heal you. Why, Pastor? Because Jesus died. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus shed his blood. Yes. Because Jesus took the 39 stripes mm. across his back. Amen. His blood was not a regular man's blood. His blood came from God Almighty, which made it perfect mm. and sinless. Amen. And that was the only kind of blood that could be placed on this altar that could redeem mankind mm. from sin. Verse 10 says, For with the heart, with the spirit, we believe unto righteousness. I, I, I believe in my spirit now. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt mm. that it was Jesus that paid it all. Amen. And I confess and I believe. Yes. Look what it says here now. That, that, that I, I believe with my heart and believe unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession, confession is made unto salvation. Sure. When I confess it, Amen. I become saved. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, repeat after me. Yes, God. If you would. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Repeat after Pastor here. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I acknowledge, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. That I am a sinner. And I need your forgiveness. And I need I believe you died for my sins. I want to turn from my sins and give you my heart. I repent of my sin and I invite you to come into my life. I now trust you as Savior and make you Lord of my life. In Jesus, name, in Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen. amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. And amen. know this one thing, that Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back for his church. That's why I'm preaching and teaching like I am, because the Lord desires that none be lost, that none of us be lost. Let us get our houses in order. Let us pray for peace in the nation. Let us pray that God's will be done in this nation and upon the face of the earth and that we become usable vessels in the sight of God that we might reap the great benefits that comes along with being saved, sanctified, and spirit-filled. So my brothers and sisters, in my conclusion, I want to thank all of you for your time. I want to thank you for your many prayers and your words of encouragement, for your financial support that helps us to do the various things that we are doing. We're trying to elevate our equipment and whatnot, so we ask that if you would, um, if this service has been a blessing to you, it's on the screen there where you can give your offering. Uh, if you'd like to give your tithe, it's right there where you can use the link to give your tithe. If you desire to get a prayer packet, you may do so. It is also on the, on the, on the screen there. You can use the uh, cash app, and you can also... Email us your address at the Gmail Elm Grove Baptist Church, and we will be most happy for any enumeration to get this out to you as soon as possible. So again, my brothers and sisters, let us examine ourselves, and let us be sure and very sure that we are saved, that we are blood-bought, that we are washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want to thank you, all my Facebook viewers, all the first-time viewers, YouTube subscribers, and my church family for your outstanding support during these nine months. So God bless you, God keep you, and we'll be at the church 
on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we say God bless you and keep you. And we'll see you Sunday morning at 11 a.m. So if you go with God, God will go with you. If you stay, stay with, with God, God, God will stay, stay with, with you. you. God bless you and we will see you Saturday.